You keep just not you are a falsehood. You keep you can't quote it. A bunch of but you can't quote it. That doesn't mean it, it's not random. It doesn't mean anything. To you, okay, let me quote it. Are you Christian? Okay, let me quote it. No, 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 no. Don't ask you Why are you scared of the Bible? Are you scared of the Bible? Are you scared? You said you let you, know you said no, no, you no, no. said you let me quote it. You do and not. Let me no, no, quote no, no. it. You, you scared of the Bible. You said I'm scared of the Bible. The Tanakh. The Tanakh. The Tanakh. Don't let me quote. No, no, no. The Tanakh. No, no, is for the Jews, okay. not Muslims, okay. not okay. Christians. Okay, no, okay, look, okay. look. Right. So let me quote six verses. You can quote it all you want, but it's still not for Muslims. Is it? But you don't believe in that. The Tanakh. No, it's for the Jews. Okay, what? Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of the Tanakh. Look, look. I'm gonna quote. No, where did get that from? Who said that? Jesus Christ please, please, is the fulfillment please, Yeah, who said that? Romans 10. Who said that? Paul, Romans 10 Paul the impostor. Can I saw Paul the impostor? Yeah. Paul, Paul, I mean, Paul you himself. Know what? Do you know what? No, let me, let me, let me. You win. No, 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 no. You win. God is your man. You win. No, no. Paul, no, no. Paul, I mean, no, no. Paul, I mean, this Paul they follow. Admitted to lying and deceit. No, no. Keep quoting. You are following a liar. You cannot quote it. Keep quoting. Paul said he's a liar. No, no. No, Keep no. Keep quoting from the Tanakh. No, no. You just tell me. Paul said he's a liar. Paul, no. Paul, you are quoting. He said he's a liar. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm laughing. Go on. What is funny? You wouldn't let me quote. Paul, you are quoting. The Tanakh. You are quoting only Paul. The Tanakh. Can you quote Jesus? The Tanakh. No, quote Jesus now. The Tanakh. Please, please. The Tanakh is for Jews. Okay. Jesus, your God. Can you quote six verses? Their tenor okay. is for Jews. What did Jesus say about God? God the Father. You win. Can you quote one too? You win. Yeah, you, you know, know, you know, you know that the man came to me you and it's everywhere. You know so Paul, Paul they are following, you is an impostor. Uh, let me tell according you. According to who? Uh, according to Paul himself. Right, no, I told you. No, don't go. Another one, respect, another one is respect. running away. No, no, respect. Another one. No, no, respect. Another respect. one. Respect. Go, 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 respect. go. Go read your Bible. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Go read your Bible. Yeah. Jesus, no God. Yeah. Keep studying the Tanakh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing. You see, the Tanakh. We are inviting these guys to do, to Islam. The Tanakh is not for Gentiles. Yeah. The only religion acceptable to Almighty God. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. The only religion. Long live the in Lord of Abraham, Isaac, in and Jesus. In the light, Islam. Huh? And in Quran 390, the only religion is the Muslims Almighty God. The all the prophets are Muslims. Muslims. Jesus was a Muslim. Abraham, all of them. Now he quoted, he said, he believed in the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He's got, he's got and he said that God is let Jesus. Let him come, man. Before the coming. I said to him, look, let's go two verses from the Bible in Exodus and in the uh, book of Acts. So I said, Exodus, if you quote Exodus, Exodus 3 15 says that the God of Abraham said, in this verse, Exodus 3.15, God sent Moses to the children of Israel. And he said to uh, Moses, go to the Israelites and say to them, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. So according to him, that God is Jesus. So I said to him, go to the book of Acts, chapter number 3, verse number 13, which says that, that the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has glorified his servant Jesus. So if Jesus is a servant of God, how can he be God? So you can see he ran away as usual. When they come in, they don't want to hear the truth. They quote their verse out of context. He cannot quote any verse from the Bible why Jesus says he is God, worship me. Nowhere. The man is going to Paul. I can't believe it. The only verse is called from the Bible to say Jesus is God is Romans 10 9. The first Christian. For years, he's the first person I met who quoted Romans 10 9 to claim that Jesus is God. Which says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him, you can say that's God. And in this verse, in fact, it makes a distinction between Jesus and Almighty God. This verse is talking about salvation, not about Jesus being God. I'm surprised with the man because most Christians will go to John 14 9. He that has seen me has seen the Father to say that Jesus is God. Or John 10 30, and the Father are one. Or they go to Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Or he goes to the Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 58. Before Abraham was, I am. Or they go to John 1 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. 14 said, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Most Christians, majority I know, record these verses and ascribe it to Jesus Christ. Uh, but this man here, who is unlettered, uh, 
hasn't studied his Bible, is going to Paul, Paul the imposter, who never met Jesus, who was in one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, peace for him, who came and corrupted the teaching of Jesus Christ, peace for him. He is Paul, is Antichrist. That is why Jeremy Bentham, an English philosopher, once said, he said, if Christianity needed an Antichrist, they need look no further than Paul. Paul is an Antichrist. So we are inviting you to the region of all the prophets with Islam. Islam simply means submit to one's will, the will of Almighty God, Allah. We, the Muslims, worship Allah, the Creator, not the creation. We do not associate any persons with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the message of all the prophets in the Bible, including Jesus Christ, peace on him. Jesus was a Muslim. Abraham was a Muslim. Isaac, Jacob, Ismail. May the peace and blessing of Allah be all over them. Moses, Musa alayhi uh, salam, Noah, Abraham, may, may the peace and blessings of Allah be all of them. They are all Muslims, they also be there with Almighty God Allah and never associate any partners with Him. This is why we are calling you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. The Quran is the last and final revelation, revelation which was revealed to the last and final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa yeah. If you read the God's Quran, Allah said, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse number 52, that's that. This Quran is a clear message for the whole of mankind. Let them take warning there from. Let them know that there is only one Allah, one God, and let the men of understanding take heed. Furthermore, in the Bible's Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, says that, that the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan. The Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan as a guidance for mankind and clear proofs for the guidance and the criterion between right and wrong. You read the Guru's Quran again is mentioned in Surah Al-Kalam chapter number 68 verse number 52 it said Oma huwa illa zikru alamin but it is nothing else it is nothing else but a message to mankind. You read the Guru's Quran it is mentioned in Surah Anbiya Surah Al-Anbiya Chapter number 21, verse number 107 says that Omar Asandaka illa rahmatan lil alami. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to mankind, as a mercy to alamin, to mankind and jinn and all that exists. So, Prophet Muhammad is the last and final prophet sent to all of mankind. Jesus was sent to the children of Israel, to the Bani Israel. Yeah, he, Jesus himself, said in the Bible that I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house, house of Israel. So, I'm going to end this video now with the quotes from the Quran in Surah Al Quran, chapter number 3, verse number 64. Allah said, Kul ya Allah kitab, say, O people of the book, say, O Jews and Christians, ta'ala ila kanabati, sawa mbena bena kum. That come to common terms as between us and you, which is the first time, Allah na abuda illa Allah, that we worship not but Allah, wala nusus kibi shay out. That we associate no partners with Allah, wala yatak to ba'da bedullah. That we erect not from um, among ourselves laws or patrons that are Allah for enter our law. But if you turn away to Kulu Sadu, then bear witness, be now Muslim, then we are Muslims bound to Allah's will.